So I, at the end here, I put just some things that maybe you can do in the house. It's a standing routine, but then in parentheses, you'll see how you can do it sitting so that we're, we're working either way, depending on where your activity level is. Balance is a big thing for a lot of us. It seems to get worse as we get older. It's affected by cancer treatment a lot of times because of the drugs they use. And one of the worst things that can happen for us is our balance to deteriorate and then we have falls and then you risk more serious injury. So doing something like a tandem stand, and that simply means standing with um, your heel next in front of your toe like you're walking on a tightrope standing in that position and then you can multitask you can do some elbow curls or elbow presses because we all want to work on that part of our arm and you can do that with or without weights so then you're doing some arm activity and you're working on your balance at the same time you can sit and still do the arm activities the curls or the presses with or without weights and get some benefit that way Mini squats are a great way to get some strength in the legs. You can work on your, your core posture when you're doing that. You can do a mini squat against the wall. You can use a therapy ball behind your back and do a squat. Um, you can hold onto a chair if that's a better way for you to do it. Uh, if, you're, if you prefer to stay seated, you can do little mini sit to stand exercises from a chair. And if you need the arms on the chair to help you, that would be a safer way to do that. But that's going to work the muscles that help us climb stairs, get in and out of the bathtub, get on and off the commode. One leg standing is a great balance exercise. And if you do it with your back to the corner, if you lose your balance a little bit, you're going to catch yourself on the wall. So it's a, a safer way to do that. And again, we want to practice our balance because that's really important for our long-term functional independence. If you need to exercise sitting in a chair, reaching forward and maintaining your balance, so reaching forward and coming back is an easy way to work on your balance while you're sitting. Sidestepping or lunges, is a, it can be a nice aerobic e exercise. It's a flexibility exercise. The deeper you lunge, the more difficult it is. You can put on some music and do it for a, a whole song. And you can sit in a chair and sidestep to each side if that's a safer way for you to exercise. And then one of the things we want to always think about is nice deep breathing. We tend to be a very um, hunched over posture kind of people, the way the chairs are made, the way we sit at computers, we tend to be very rounded. We want to do things that open up the chest and encourage that open chest deep breathing posture. So activities done sitting or standing like this can encourage you to take those deep breaths. It works on your trunk or your chest wall mobility, and then you're getting some range of motion as well. So I'm all about trying to get a couple things done at one time, and if you combine some things, you'll, you'll have multiple benefits.